Hi, it's Jira again today. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the Citra 3DS emulator on Android. Now, if you've heard recently, there's a new developer uh, by the, I think he's called Neil Brain. He's doing the uh, new 3DS emulator on Android from scratch uh, called uh, Mikagi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it looks promising. But I'm going to say there is a couple of downsides to it. Um, the first off being it's from scratch. It's going to take a while for it to play. There is a video of it being sped up, but it's a couple of frame rates. It does look promising. It looks good. But to be honest, I don't want to be waiting for another six months to a year. And um, so... Citra themselves are also working on it, but there's been no news. I'm pretty sure they're going to be working on it. I think the reason why it's no news on Citra, I know it's a slow process um, for them, but I think they're working on an emulator ready to come out. It's really, for them, it's only fair that it does come out perfect because they are the specialists of Citra, especially on Windows. Uh, Citra works awesome on Windows. Um... And the good thing about Citra on Windows is that it runs on low devices, including it can run some games on the GPD, GPD Win 2, which is a little handheld Windows device. So it's no news of when it's coming out. So for me, let's have a look at this unofficial build. The unofficial build, there's two builds. There's the 0.5 1 Alpha build. And there is the custom build. Now, I believe the unofficial build is by Sachin Vin. The custom build, I'm not 100% sure who is it done by. Um, both builds are pretty similar. But the custom build, they both have good and bad points. Both can, uh, the 0 0.51 uh, build can play games better. And same with the custom build, it can play other games better and so forth. So both have their... You know good and bad points um it is an unstable emulator um it hasn't been worked on for six months i'm surprised because the emulator itself is actually pretty good when you play a game if you've got a snapdragon phone like say a samsung with an 845 or an 855 you're going to get pretty good decent performance now some of you do ask um, will it work on low-end phones? It will, but it'll be slow, even on my phone. I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, but it only has the Exynos. I wish I had the 845, the Snapdragon, or the 855 phone. Um, I believe the Note 9 is probably one of the most powerful. Um, even the Asus is another powerful phone. Uh, Snapdragon. Um, so, for me, this emulator is actually pretty good. Some games can be played flawlessly, and I'm going to play one game in particular. Now, I know it's, I believe it come on, I'm not sure which console it come from, but it does run really good. Uh, Shovel Knight. Now, this is a 3DS game. I'm going to go into this. Now, you see me rotate my phone literally, physically there, 90 degrees and back again, because it's the only way I can get it to actually work. So, even though it's like, yeah, it's a 2D title, but it still works.
bit rusty on that game. Um, but yeah, you just saw there, one game uh, working really good. Yeah, albeit a 2D title. Um, so, the games that I play on the Exynos 9820 run average about 10 to 15 frame rates a second. Now, if you've got uh, the Snapdragon, you expect to get another 20% um, performance on top of that. Some games working at 25, I believe. I've seen Pokemon being run at 20 to 25. Um, some games, yeah, I just need... Uh, some games can't run, but it's one of these emulators just requires a lot of power, a lot of CPU and GPU power. Um, I'm surprised that no one's put this up. This is what... This is what um, I read uh, someone had left a comment, someone replied to someone's comment on my channel on one of my videos and apparently the Citra themselves tried to contact Sachin Vin but couldn't get hold of him. So did Citra have plans to, did they have plans to work together? Uh, so obviously I'm assuming Citra just worked from scratch but I'm surprised no developer is taking this on because this is a pretty good emulator. You've seen games on previous videos where I talk about, um, you know, you see it, you see Zelda. All it is is slow. There's nothing actually, uh, you know, there's no graphically textures missing. Yeah, on a couple of games you see it's blue, but it's nothing major. It's just slow. So... Let's go into another one here in a minute. Zelda Between Worlds. I want to come out of there a minute. Now you've got like 15 frame rates. Let me see if we can get any higher. And uh, see if we can get like any higher than that. So uh, I'm just going to go into settings a minute and just turn that off a minute. The en enable hardware shader. So let's come back out of there. And let's go in again. So. Yeah, so Zelda, Link Between Worlds. I have to do that rotation of the screen. It's the only way I can get it to work on my uh, smartphone. So the speed is switching, but I've seen this being played on a Snapdragon 845 and, uh, and also Snapdragon 855 on the third party phones and it ran really good. But yeah, apart from that, it looks pretty good. It just relaxed the speed, it just lacks power. So there you go. So for me, the unofficial build, um, it's just call it the Citra 3D emulator. It's not the official. You could just probably call it uh, Sack and Vin emulator or something like that. Because uh, it is by him. But I'm surprised no one else has taken the challenge on. No, I'm no 
emulation expert. I wouldn't know, like I said before, I wouldn't know where to start how you would do an emulator. But I'm surprised no one's picked this up. I suppose it took a long time to do, but the base is already there to finish it. I don't know why developers are going from scratch. I really don't. Um, beats me. I don't, I don't know, but going back to the Mikagi uh, emulator, yeah, it looks promising, but for me, myself, I'm not going to wait another year to six months to a year to wait for it to come out. I'm um, hopefully they release more powerful phones and hopefully, who knows, the next gen of phone, uh, the Note, uh, the Note 10 that's coming out, I believe it's supposed to be powerful. I don't know how powerful it's going to be. Is any other company going to take it and make films a little bit more powerful? Because this emulator is pretty good. So, with the Exynos 9820, uh, the Exynos chips, you are at a disadvantage uh, by considerable margin on some games. Um, I've seen Mario Kart work well on Snapdragon. Super Mario, yeah. If you've got a Snapdragon 845855, tweak with a settings, you'll be surprised. And have a look at between builds, the 0.5 one alpha build and the custom build. They have pros and cons. Some games work, some games don't as work as well, uh, depending on which build you're using. So I've noticed that some games on the this build, the 0.51 build, uh, games are faster on the custom build. So have a look. So the Citra 3 ds emulator, the unofficial build is still the best. Um, I don't know how long it actually took to come to this point. I believe the build before that, the not the 0.51 build, the one next uh, underneath it. And I'll leave a link in the description because all the builds are in one site, except for the custom build, which I'll leave a separate link in there for. And you'll see it, apparently the build below it. Now, I try to use it, it crashed. But apparently it's supposed to be even faster than the 0.51 build. I don't know, because I my phone won't let me play it, so... Hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more, um, and hopefully, hopefully soon there will be a Citra 3D Assembler that's running full speed. Who will come out of it first? Will it be Citra or Mikagi? Who comes out first? Don't know. Um, but yeah, I can't wait because it is, it is pretty good. So... Hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.